Praise God. All right, this morning, like I said to us earlier, we are here to thank God. I want to read a scripture from Malachi 2. That's our anchor scripture for this morning services in all our locations. Malachi 2, from verse number 1, it says, And now, O ye priests, praise God. <laughs> and now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. Amen. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay to heart, to give glory unto my name, say the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Say, yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Hmm. May your blessing not be cursed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said here, this is a divine commandment. It may not be for all people, but it is a divine commandment to the priests of God. He said, this commandment is unto you, O ye priests. So this is a divine commandment for all the priests of God in all the generations of life. Praise God. Every time you see a priest, God says this commandment is resting on their shoulders. If they fail to carry out this commandment, they are going to be cursed. Their blessings will be cursed. In other words, whatever they have been celebrating over shall become a source of their money. That's what God is saying there. And who are the priests? Revelations 1 and in verse 6, the Bible says, And he has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The priests of the New Testament are the believers in Christ. Every child of God is called a priest in the New Testament. So when God said, I'm giving this commandment, God is saying, I'm giving this commandment to everyone who is washed in the blood of Jesus. This is one thing you must never fail to do. No matter how much I love you, no matter how much I have blessed you, if you forget to lay to heart, to give glory to my name, your blessing will turn around to a cause. So we are under a divine mandate to praise God. We are under a divine commandment to thank God. We don't have a, cho a choice. Praise God. We don't have a choice. We don't have an option. We are under a divine commandment to thank God. So we are here this morning. Whether you feel it or you don't feel like it. Whether you want to or you don't want to. God says, this one is a commandment that must be obeyed. You must give me the glory. Praise God. So I don't care what your feelings are this morning. I don't care what your impressions are this morning. This is a divine commandment, an injunction from heaven that every believer is to offer God praise. Praise God. I said, praise God. First. Thessalonians 5, 18. He said, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. <laughs> in everything, give thanks. Business did not work the way you thought it will work. In everything, give thanks. Because that is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. In other words, if you do anything otherwise, you are walking contrary to God's will for your life.